In this video I will show you a little bit of the creation process of Dare D Das Auto, a racing game to train your German language skills in a fun way. This game was made in Python with Pygame and for the web version Pigbag. It is available to play on itch.io right now. First day I took for organizing my ideas, forming a vision about the game, what I want to do with it. I have been studying German for several years and one of the things that I always had a certain difficulty with was the genders of nouns and their respective articles. Der is used for masculine nouns, D for feminine nouns, das for neuter and D is also used for the plural of all genders. Grammatical gender in German is important because it affects many aspects of grammar, especially the declinations in the different cases, accusative, nominative, dative and genitive. For some time now I have been thinking of creating a game to help me memorize the noun genders. I even tested some apps from the Play Store, but they always follow the same boring form. A noun appears and you have to choose one of the three options, there, the or das. I mean, you can train with that, but it's not really exciting. For a more engaging experience, I thought of a racing format where you control a car that changes lanes to choose the right options or the right answer. Some ideas that I think would look good in the game. The speed increases as you advance in the game, like those cheap handheld games that have a thousand variations of the same games. Pretty fun for a child. Other idea is that when you miss, the car takes some kind of damage and maybe explodes like Great Theft Auto. At the end, of course, you have to show the statistics, like how many answers you got right, and give the options to repeat the ones that you didn't answer correctly. And nouns could be grouped by different subjects or maybe by different levels of difficulty. The game also could have two modes. The first game mode I thought of was one that a word would appear at the top of the screen and the car would have to choose between the three options. And that would be the classic mode, similar to those apps in the Play Store. The second mode would be one option, there, the or does, and you have to select the right words that fit in this article. The goal here is to create a proof of concept where words come at the player in different lanes on a road. First I created a very crude background of a three lane road, which will serve as a reference later for the backgrounds. I also created two sprites for the car, just to give you an idea of the movement. Then I started to make the logic of the text, which is very small when it's far away and gets bigger when it gets close to the player. The text should also follow a trajectory according to its lane and also the movement of the car, which is quite simple, going from one side of the road to the other. So I created a list of words that will pass on the screen. For now, there it does, always having a random order and lane on the road. Then I started with the collision logic. First, I thought of taking the positions of the words and the car and then calculating the distance between them, but that didn't work very well, so I used Pygame's feature to calculate collisions between rectangles. Then I created a rectangle for the car sprite and another for the word that is at the front of the screen, closer to the car. When a collision is detected, the word disappears and a new one appears on the horizon. Then I added the nouns list, took 100 most common German nouns according to ChatGPT and put them in a text file. A word from the list is randomly selected and displayed on the screen. At each collision it is checked if the article is correct and a new word is drawn. I thought about creating a new list to store the words the player got right and another with the words the player got wrong. Thus, when drawing a word, I can remove it from the original list and make the round end when the list is empty, at which time the player will have the option to try again with the words he missed. After that, I decided to change the logic of the collisions, now using masks to disregard the transparent parts of the sprites, so all collisions are pixel perfect. 
On the fifth day, I decided to refine the scoring logic with the multiplier part and start implementing the menus, starting with the pause menu and the end game menu. Then I created a start menu where you can select between two game modes and a selection menu where the idea is to have different themes of words to choose from. On the sixth day, I decided to implement the reverse mode where the article is at the top of the screen and the words appear on the road. Besides the logic being a little different, I had to make adjustments to the scale of the words since the German language has relatively large words. On this day I started doing some tests on the game and noticed some bugs that took me a while to fix. After that I decided to implement a simple system of animations. Every time the player scores, or gets a word wrong. I have a list of animating items which is updated every frame and when the time is up the item is removed from the list. Each item is animated in the same way, starting with one position and going up while becoming transparent. That day I started with the sounds, adding the sound of the car engine which changes speed when the player is doing a combo. I also added a discrete tire sound when the player changed tracks. Effects when the player gets a word right or wrong. And also music. I also added two buttons on the screen to pause the game and turn off the sound. After that I spent some time restructuring the code that was starting to get messy. When I was more or less satisfied, I decided to work on the sprite of the car. It took a while to redraw it, so I don't think I will have a selection of cars for the player to choose from yet. And to complete the art part, I decided to work on the background, added more frames for the road with a gradient. And also I added a sky with mountains that is slowly moving. I started with adding more gears to the car, Fast and Furious style, now with 11 gears. But my goal for the day is to make some trees appear on the side of the road, to fill in some of this blank space. I created a tree sprite and was able to reuse much of the logic of the words that appear on the road. So this part was relatively quick. After that I created variations of the tree sprites and adjusted the background. Now that the game is practically ready, I decided to add more options for word themes. To create the word lists I went back to ChatGPT and asks for specific words of some common topics like food, animals, work, school. And after that, the game was ready to be published. Using Pigback, I created the web version and created a page on itch.io. Then I posted the game on the Pygame Discord. And right away there was a problem, the game was freezing. Luckily, it wasn't that hard to fix. After that, I made a post about the game on the German subreddit so that people interested in learning German could test and give me feedback on the game. In general, the reception was pretty good. Most people seemed to like the game and there were even native speakers playing. But there were also some complaints. For some people, the game was simply too fast, not allowing enough time to read the words. So I added a longer pause and a longer animation when the player misses a word. Another person told me that some articles were wrong. As it turns out, ChatGPT lied to me. I had to check all the words with a grammar checker where I found some more problems, which are hopefully now solved. Another person who was testing the game said it couldn't control the car on his smartphone, which makes sense because I didn't implement mobile controls. So I decided to implement them checking mouse collisions with invisible rectangles on the screen. And I think it worked better than expected. Now you can also play Dirty Das Auto on your cell phone. The next day another person asked why the arrow keys were not used to control the car. 
so I added also this option. I also made adjustments should the compound words, as some were not displayed correctly. I added the possibility for a word to have more than one correct answer, because in German there are some words that are like this. More people say the game was too fast, so I added a slow mode, at half the speed of the normal game. And after doing some more testing, I decided to implement some improvements in the game. I made a home screen without the music because of a bug of Safari that someone had commented on. A separate button to turn off the game music in case I wanted to hear only the music or only the sound effects. As on my old smartphone the game was running at about 5 or 6 FPS, I decided to implement a low graphics mode where there are no trees and some effects are turned off, thus achieving more than 30 FPS. Low graphics mode is selected automatically if the FPS drops below 30, but I also wanted a manual option to select it. So I created an options menu screen with sound and graphics settings. I also made the vertical position of the car have a greater effect on the speed of the game being very slow in the lower position and faster in the upper position. And every time you miss a word, the car is pushed back, making the game slower. So I finish one more game and one more video. This time it is an educational and fun game, that I will try to play every now and then to practice my German skills. Over time, after I begin to master these words, I will think about adding new word lists. One thing that I really want to try is to create an Android app with Python. The process seems to be a bit complex, but I will see how it goes. Well, I hope you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe, cheers and I see you next time.